Welcome to this mix for the R Dynamic Universe unit on weight on a slope. What you need to know is you need to be able to analyze, analyze the forces acting on an object on a slope with and without friction. When an object is placed on a slope, the weight of the object acts downwards towards the center of the earth as shown in the diagram. The weight of the object can be resolved into two right angle components, a component acting parallel to the slope and a component acting perpendicular to the slope. And if we're resolving how the object is going to move, then it's the parallel force that we're particularly interested in. Using trigonometry, we can work out the component of the weight. So here we have a triangle on the left hand side and the parallel force is the opposite side. The perpendicular force is the adjacent and the weight is the hypotenuse. So this means that the parallel part that we're interested in is the opposite and the weight is the hypotenuse. So we're looking at the sine function. So the component of weight parallel to the slope is equal to mg times sine theta. The perpendicular force is mg cos theta, but the one that we use almost all the time is the parallel component down the slope. You can either work this out yourselves or you can remember that it's the sine mg sine theta that you need to know. So let's look at an example. A two kilogram block of wood is placed on a slope as shown. The block remains stationary what is the size and the direction of the frictional force that acts upon the block? So this slope is at 30 degrees here. So if we look at the forces acting on it with a three body diagram, we've got our mass on the slope, we've got the component of weight down, and we've got the component parallel to the slope, going down the slope, and the friction in the opposite direction up the slope. So since the object is not moving, the friction and the component of weight down the slope, W parallel, must be balanced. Therefore, the friction is equal to mg sine theta, so 2 times 9.8 times the sine of 30, which means that the friction is 9.8 newtons up the slope. Example 2. A car of mass of 1000 kilograms is parked on a hill, the slope of the hill is 20 degrees to the horizontal, the brakes of the car fail and the car runs down the hill for 75 meters until it crashes into a hedge. The average force of friction on the hill on the car as it goes down the hill is 250 newtons. Calculate the component of weight down the slope. So mg sine theta, 1000 the mass of the car times 9.8 times sine 20 gives us 3352 newtons. The frictional component was 250 newtons, therefore the unbalanced force is the friction take away the component weight, and we can work out the acceleration from F over M, as shown on the screen. If we want the speed of the car before it hits the hedge, we can use an equation of motion because we've got a constant acceleration. And this gives us a speed of 21.6 meters per second. So what do you need to be able to do? You need to be able to calculate the forces acting on an object on a slope with or without friction. You need to know that the component of weight down the slope is mg sine theta or be able to work it out. And you need to be able to solve problems using Newton's second law, F equals MA, and possibly the equations of motion for objects on slopes.